State officials urge complete evacuation. Severe flooding is expected. It's okay. We're ready. When the things that matter most are on the line, make sure we are too. The storm response team at 1-800-SERP-PRO. Like it never even happened. With every flood comes a flood of emotions. Every fire, a momentary spark of uncertainty and a loss of control. And when it's your home, your business, or your belongings that become damaged, you don't just want things clean, you want your life back as well. And that's where ServPro comes in. A company with over 40 years experience in cleanup and restoration, ServPro franchise professionals are faster to any size disaster. Our number one goal is returning damaged areas and items to pre-loss condition, doing all we can to help homeowners and business owners regain control following a disaster. With ServPro, our goal is to make it like it never even happened. that matter most are on the line. Make sure we are too. The disaster recovery team at 1-800-SERV-PRO. Like it never even happened. You know, when the, when the rain started really coming that entire week and we saw the Cumberland rising slowly at that point in time. And with past history in this building, we did know that when we had a steady rain, there were opportunities or possibilities for minor water intrusion. But on May 2nd, which was that Sunday, when it was just a, a solid downpour all day long, we, it's when we really started getting a little more worried and the alarms started going off in our pumps. And at around uh, 2.30 in the morning, I got, a, I got a, another call from our engineers saying, we've got issues. Well, I mean, it was a pretty surreal moment when the water started coming up out of the pits into the lower level four of the garage. And again, we had experienced that once before on a minor level, so there wasn't a lot of shock and panic at that point in time. It's when um, we started noticing it was coming up very rapidly. It was about 20 inches per hour, and we couldn't keep up, quite frankly. And then we brought in the ancillary pumps, and we still couldn't keep up. And that was, again, sometime that Sunday afternoon that we just realized there's, there's a major problem here. Again, I think the peace of mind probably was uh, that Monday morning. Uh, again, this was after the whole week of rain and then the Sunday drenching. The peace of mind was probably Monday morning, quite frankly, for me at 10 o'clock when Surpro showed up and then all the rest of my contractors showed up and we started to put together a plan of what, what were we gonna do? Surpro took on a commitment of ownership. And again, I'll say Surpro as well as all my contractors, but it, it couldn't have happened without Surpro's extreme team. It took on a commitment of ownership. I pressed them hard. I pressed them hard 24 seven to get it done. I mean, no was not an option. And I will say this, every time I brought something else to the table, they did it. When I said I needed a uh, portable generator large enough to run this building, they brought it. Air, they did it. Dehumidification, they brought it. They brought all the portable uh, fans. I mean, they did everything and they were there like that. And I can tell you, you know, we were worried about bacteria, we were worried about E. coli, we were worried about, you know, just the health and safety of all of our tenants and our employees. But after I saw what was going on and I saw the responses from every Serb Pro leader, I knew it was gonna get done. There wasn't an issue. You know, my thing is, I, I can tell you that uh, I would recommend Pro to any of my peers across the country. I work with a lot of institutional ownerships, a lot of institutional insurance companies. I would recommend Pro hands down above any of your competition because I now know 
what they're capable of, and what they're willing to do to make it right. It was like it never even happened. The Science of Drying The knowledge of psychrometrics is essential to restoring a structure to its pre-loss condition. Where the average do-it-yourself homeowner or business owner might be tempted to grab a few beach towels to mop up the mess and place a box fan or two around the damaged area, your local ServPro franchise professionals follow strict industry-accepted standards to help lower the chances of any secondary damages. A trained restorer will inspect the building to detect every component that is wet, preventing damage from occurring because wet components were overlooked, measure how much moisture is in the wet materials, and monitor whether the materials are drying properly. A wet building can often dry naturally. When materials are wet, moisture will naturally move to drier air at the surface of the material, but only if the air is indeed drier. The only problem is Mother Nature takes too long and secondary damages occur while the building is drying out. For this reason, your local ServPro franchise professionals have been trained to use top-of-the-line equipment to help Mother Nature along, including equipment to help dry hardwood floors, tough-to-reach spaces inside walls, and much, much more. We also use state-of-the-art monitoring equipment and a proven scientific process to help speed the drying of your home or business. Your local ServPro franchise professionals have the training and equipment to help make it like it never even happened. Everything is ruined. It's okay, we're ready. When the things that matter most are on the line, make sure we are too. The fire and water cleanup team at 1-800-SERVE-PRO. Like it never even happened. NES is a uh, utility company that provides uh, power and services to a uh, 750 square mile area of Nashville. We have approximately 300,000 customers on our service system. When the property was first built in 85, We'd, we'd had some flooding from Richland Creek, which is adjacent to the property, but just minor flooding. Never no buildings flooded, just the uh, pole yard. When I uh, turned on the uh, news channel on Sunday morning, they were going through all the flooding in downtown and different areas of town. And they, they uh, had spotlighted uh, what they called the NES substation, the NES property. Well, I looked and it was our service center and uh, when they showed our guys on top of the uh, building having to be rescued, I was pretty shocked. When I looked at the building, I saw it over the entrance doors, and uh, I knew then I just sort of shook my head in disbelief and said, I don't, this is gonna be a long, hard, drawn out war right here, buddy. On Monday morning, it was made, management made a decision that the building could not be occupied. So NES, at that time, brought, we had displaced 108 employees. We had lost 37 vehicles. So NES proceeded to start trying to rent trucks and find a place for the employees. NES is used to a lot of wind storms, ice storms over the years, tornadoes. We have, uh, we have had to supply a lot of services for people. This time we didn't have the expertise to put our building back in. So then we had to start looking for someone with expertise to be able to restore our building. Once, once we looked over the bids, we decided to call Surpro management team in and talk to them and see how they wanted to address this problem. Some of the questions we had were, uh, how do you plan on handling this? Do you have enough manpower? kind of time frame can you give us? How soon can you get us back in business? But they were able to pull from other franchises, pull as many people as needed to be in. They work around the clock to help us. If they need to work 12 hours a day, 16 hours a day, they would come up with a plan. Actually, the first day that Surpro was on the site, within probably the first two or three hours, I was 
I was satisfied that I had the right company. I, I thought it would probably take them three or four days to clean it up. Within an hour or two, it was completely clean. I think the biggest thing that surprised me about Serpro was that uh, I'd always been seeing them at a lot of residential homes. People had floods, uh, water damage. The first day they mobilized here, I could just couldn't believe the amount of equipment they brought in. The tractor trailers, their supplies. There was just van after van of employees. I was just shocked. They got out of their vans, the team leaders, they, did, they had a little tailgate conference for safety. They got out, they all had a plan, and within five minutes they were all on the, on the site starting the restoration. NES has had numerous disasters, maybe the ice storm of 85 and the, uh, some of the tornadoes over the last couple of years. We've gone out and we've had a disaster recovery plan in, in place to restore other properties and other people's services, uh, whether it be commercial or residential. Uh, now I realize that uh, this time around, NES was the, the customer. And so we had to go out and find a company that could handle our restoration and serve pro fit that need in that bill. Serve pro like it never even happened. I don't know how it happened, but it's okay. We're ready. When the things that matter most are on the line, make sure we are too. The fire and water cleanup team at 1 800 Serve Pro. Like it never even happened. On the way to building a national company and a recognized brand, we at Serve Pro also built a house. It has no address, no street, no yard. No family will ever live here. Already it's seen hundreds of fires and countless floods. Still, it stands tall. Welcome to the Serve Pro Training Facility, located on the Serve Pro Corporate Campus in Gallatin, Tennessee. Site of the most advanced fire and water cleanup training regimen in the country. A restoration industry version of Top Gun Flight School, where IICRC certified Serve Pro instructors teach the art and science of restoring homes and homeowners, each to their original condition. Heroic deeds spanning everything from mold remediation to smoke restoration to odor neutralization, schooled and then mastered inside this house. All in preparation for the one disaster that might someday happen in yours. The Serve Pro Training House, official home of making fire and water damage like it never even happened.